Now, essay writing can be kind of scary for most people, but they don't need to be. They feed from the hierarchy of the textbook. The, you took notes on these. Right here in this area, the topic and subtopic is where you get your most uh, specific information. Categories of unit and chapter particularly are kind of broad. They're general an idea of what the specific information is going to be about. In your essay, you need to have an introduction and a structure for your main ideas, your topic sentences. Those would be more in this general area of understanding. Your actual examples or support are in the subtopic and topic areas. This is where you have your most specific detail. So understanding this hierarchy, and of course you've taken your notes following this pattern, now you're going to be able to use your notes in order to do the essay. So the, the notes become quite valuable once again. In a typical five paragraph essay, there is an introduction paragraph, paragraph one. Three body paragraphs to it, that would make four paragraphs so far, your intro and your three body pa paragraphs, and lastly, a conclusion or a summary paragraph. A five paragraph essay can be constructed so you exactly know what pieces you need to put in each of the sections. That's what I'm about to explain to you. Of course, every essay needs a title, and that would be a very general understanding of what the whole is about. So a title would be something like a unit or a chapter title could be incorporated into your essay title. Our first paragraph is the introduction paragraph, and it has three sentences, usually. An attention-grabbing sentence, and I'll go back into more detail on these in a, in a, mo in a moment. Uh, the second sentence would be logically building your case, and then the third sentence is what's called a thesis or a topic sentence. And this is the one that you're gonna use, you're gonna construct very carefully for you to be able to get the three body paragraphs, which are next. So that was our intro. I'm going to be coming your back to first, that. Your first paragraph has certain support elements in it. Those would refer to probably the topics in your notes. And the examples that are going to explain the, the uh, support are given and usually found in the subtopics where you took your notes. So this is the most detail that you, that you have in your notes. The second body paragraph is exactly the same. Obviously you have different information in it, but it's set up in a, in a similar way. Your second point needs to have several supports to it, and the supports are then explained with examples or quotes. Your third body paragraph, again, is your third point, has several supporting elements, which are further explained with examples or quotes. And the fifth paragraph in the five paragraph essay is a conclusion. The conclusion or summary wraps it up. It ties together the three body paragraphs and it's basically a reiteration or a restatement of the intro introduction. So our intro paragraph that had the grabber sentence, the logically building sentence, and the thesis statement is then going to be used. You go, you're going to go back to the introduction and restate what you said in this paragraph 
as a wrap up to conclude your five paragraph essay. I think you're probably going to want some examples. <laughs>